hello it's day 48 of Liberator project and uh, it's a little bit later tonight than I planned for but as I was quite dirty and scruffy I thought I'd actually have a shave and a shower and uh, make myself a bit more presentable to do the video today as you can see I'm not in Chelmsford we'll come to that in a minute uh, I'd like to say hello to our peachykins now um, she's also a moderator on the Alistair Williams comedy channel uh, as am I there's about, I suppose, about 20 moderators spread throughout the world, mainly in America. And just by chance, um, she lives about four miles from me. So um, I hope, I really hope that our Peachikins comes in for an interview in the near future, just to introduce herself and say hello. But that's in the future. I'll tell you about my day. Well, um, I was up very late talking with a friend and um, it, on, the, on Zoom and... Uh, I hate to admit it, but it seems that my ex is madder than his, so I, <laughs> I have to admit that. So I think he's got a very valid point, actually, after reviewing the uh, different instances. So I was up very late. Uh, this morning, uh, got up, waited for the post. Again, the, the towing hook and bits I needed haven't actually arrived. Uh, that's a bit inconvenient. So, uh, you know, tomorrow I'm going to have to go down to Chelmsford if it's a nice day regardless of what I've got because I can't wait any longer these bits should have arrived on Friday and um, and haven't so that's irritating and I spent oh god about five hours searching for that logbook and in the end yes I found it what had happened I believe is that where I'd sort of stacked up all the paperwork for the for the um, camper on the edge of my bed the, um, the top couple of sheets had slipped off and aeroplaned off the room and gone into the wardrobe. So they're actually at the bottom of my wardrobe, which was very weird to find them, but I'm really glad I found them. So th that's been uh, sent to the DVLA and the logbook itself been posted off to Martin. So I'm very relieved that that turned up because I was, you know, I wasted a day looking for that paperwork. So that was horrible. Um, I've also sent um, my friend Stuart in uh, Bournemouth. I've sent him some uh, a couple of ball bearings to uh, for his uh, entertainment and uh, investigation of things in the future, and um, a few bits and pieces. Now, a friend of mine who's actually teaching me how to fight with a lightsaber. This is uh, his lightsaber. I'll turn it on. I can't do this. I can't do this one-handed and film it, but I'm not very good anyway. I mean, he's much better than me. It's um, it's missing a small stud on the base. So I'm really hoping that Stuart can uh, modify some of the bits I've sent him so we can make that fit. So Mark's got a perfectly good lightsaber again. So that's. Uh, I think that's everything today. Um, it's. Uh, Oh, oh, that's it. I've also sent uh, Stuart a gasket for my fuel cell. Some of the material, because he's a much better mechanical engineer than I am. So it's good getting a second opinion before launching off. <laughs> you hear that? Um, it's, uh, it's much better getting a second opinion before you launch into manufacturing anything. Uh, not that I'm a manufacturer for a few months yet anyway, because I've got to sell the house and do other things. But um, I wanted to get everything ready and I wanted to put everything, you know, ready to go. And I wanted his opinion on the parts I've got. So that's, uh, that's been pretty much my day today. I hope that, uh, you know, well, the logbook turned out to be a small step that took a day. But at least that's done. And... <laughs> When, um, with the with the stupid laws about weapons now, you're not allowed to have a sword, even if you're doing kendo or you're actually doing martial arts with it. So the answer was, I mean, it used to be that you could have a sword as long as it was locked away in a box when you were between the dojo. Fair enough. And my katana is blunt, so I could train with it without, you know, hurting anyone or losing an ear. Then, uh, then of course, that was, that was too a dangerous weapon. And uh, so I had to go for wooden swords that were awful because they haven't got the weight and they're just so dead they're just not fun at all but the next step is you can get <laughs> you can get a lightsaber that does all the sound effects and the collisions and it brings the fun back into sword fighting so i'm uh, so hopefully uh, 
either later this week or early next week I'm going to have a, a lightsaber uh, a lightsaber training with Mark um, hopefully oh well, yeah why not we could uh, could film it and put it on the channel and you can see see what it involves but it's uh, a lot of fun I really recommend getting one of these it puts all the fun back into you know practicing with swords without using a you know piece of wood that's great okay that's uh, that's it today again not um, not wonderful but you know small steps and uh, I'm feeling a lot more upbeat today I mean now I've actually found the logbook I've also uh, you know it has enabled me to actually sort out my office and do other things not that it's sorted now but is at least emptied and um, you know that's quite good it means I can clear out a lot of rubbish and I made some space so although it was about a logbook it's not you know it's not just about a logbook it wasn't just such a waste okay well thanks very much I hope that uh, you still find this entertaining maybe the car tomorrow who knows there's an air of mystery about this channel okay thanks a lot good